not quite a blank slate, is actually a surface set. This paper loves just about everything you can throw at it. It's also light enough for you to add into a journal if you wanted to. Each side has a different texture for you to experiment on. They both behave very differently and, and in the set is a combination of artwork that I've created for you to create on. It's a little collaboration between you and me when you create with these and some plain ones so you have free artistic reign. <laughs> canvas set combines pre-printed panels and plain panels for you to create on. And in this video I want to show you how versatile the surface is. I'm just pre-preparing a couple of the panels with paint from the Matchmaker acrylic paint set that's part of Making Faces and I'm just putting down that nice little layer of that matte acrylic and then I'm going to set it aside to dry so that we can create on this later. The thing that I love about mixed media <laughs> is that it's exactly that. It's mixed media. I can throw whatever I feel like at the paper and not all paper surfaces are friendly <laughs> to all of the beautiful supplies that we like to use. This paper or this surface is friendly to just about everything. I'm going to start with some of the water soluble media that I love to use. So the colour sticks and my aqua pastels and I'm putting down layers of the colour, adding water just to show you how the paper reacts. It's not a watercolour paper so the watercolour when you put it down won't flow out like it does on a watercolour paper. It will settle and sink in a little bit more but it certainly uh, reacts nicely to the paper and it is lovely to use on it. You can also blend very easily with your finger especially with things like color pastels, drama sticks, um, the paper won't peel up. It's also great with my smooth markers as you can see it doesn't peel and it lets the marker blend so this will suit all alcohol markers but you know I like to use my smooth markers of course. So I'm just starting to create a, a little bit of a face structure there at the bottom of <laughs> this frame and this is all just meant to be a swatch page just very random and it's very much how journaling works for me. It's always a bit of a journey I might not know exactly where I'm going to end up but you know, I've packed my bags well with all my mixed media supplies and I know that the path is very safe and I'm going to have a great time as I travel along on my artistic journey. And I just want to show you how I can combine uh, all of these different types of mixed media supplies on this paper. It does have a little bit of texture to it. There's more texture on what's technically the back than the front, but you can decide really which is the front and which is the back and even with all those layers of the smooth markers that I put on there was very little uh, bleed through. There, uh, there will be a little bit of bleed through from alcohol markers if you put lots and lots of layers on so you can very easily use both sides of this paper and at the very end of the video I will show you how I like to in use these as inserts in my journal and I can use both sides of the paper quite happily. So rather than just doing swatches of different inks and watercolour and markers that are in squares or circles or something, I've decided to draw <laughs> a little face with you and <laughs> create something as we go. So I've got uh, drama sticks on here as well. I'm using my batten blenders just to blend them out. And very often when I'm creating, like I said, it, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to go. What I know is that I wanted to film a video for you that shows you uh, how you can use all sorts of different media on this paper. And 
I thought I was going to do swatches and then this happened and I think this is more interesting anyway. So now I want to connect the little face that I started at the bottom to show you how the smooth markers or alcohol markers work on this paper and with, I wanted to connect it to the little bright colours of um, water soluble uh, pastels that I've put up in the top so I'm connecting it with some of my incredible ink to show you how it looks on the paper as well how it um, absorbs into the paper and the colors turn out really quite beautiful now I'm just adding some little dots of velvet pastel I adore velvet pastel it dries very quickly it dries very matte it's like I'm uh, just a very controlled yet still messy still painterly dot of super matte acrylic paint but it it has a different uh, feeling to it I, it reacts differently when you uh, touch it with your finger and if you use it for, I love using it for cheeks and facial features um, for lips as well uh, when I'm creating and it melts as you create with it it's got a different feeling a different look to acrylic but of course, <laughs> this paper accepts acrylic very well. I'm using one of the paintbrushes from my Magnetic Attraction set to just spread that beautiful dark paint from the Jane's Faves paint set. I've added a little water to the paintbrush. That's what I'm doing whenever the, my hand goes off screen there, just dipping my paintbrush in water, just so that the, the paint keeps gliding on nicely and also to uh, thin it out a little bit so that I can still see the frame on this artwork as I take the paint to the edges. And I just wanted to point out that the paper doesn't buckle up and curl even though it's just a single sheet. So this is what makes it a really nice surface to create on. The ink is dry enough for me to add a little pastel to and you can certainly add pastel to a, a damp surface like this. Just be a little bit wary of um, adding water or damp batten blender or sponge onto your pastel sets. It can make the pastel go a little bit hard and you certainly wouldn't want to transfer any of the ink onto the pastel surface because uh, again it could leave a little bit of residue on the pastel and affect it next time you go to use it. And the pastel set that I'm using is the Mermaid Shimmering Pastels. So there's five different colours in there, silver, all the beautiful blues, that beautiful lilac and the hot pink. I'm just adding little touches of the colour and using my Batten Blender to pop that in. So that you can see that there is enough texture on that paper to hold your beautiful pastels as well. However, it's still smooth enough for you to draw on it and use something beautiful and fine tipped like this License to Quill or LTQ <laughs> waterproof pen. It's wonderful to have access to a surface like this so that as you create, you're not limited. Your imagination isn't bound by anything. You can just keep adding whatever art supplies you feel like. Not having to worry about setting up layers or what coating you're going to put down first. You've got a surface that will kind of get on with just about everything. Now, as I was filming this, I think I got a little over ambitious. And I actually filmed three more of these girls going together on this fabulous, not quite a blank canvas paper. If you would like to see the full version of those, let me know in the comments down below and I will edit that up at some point. In the meantime, here they are flushing across the screen very, very quickly. But just, I want to show you them happening because you can see I'm using all sorts of different art supplies, uh, water soluble, acrylic, um, the pastels, everything. And the paper, you know, kind of loves them all, including the journal tattoos from the masquerade set. Look at those magnificent falsies. So now that I've had all that fun creating on the beautiful, not quite a blank slate surface, what am I going to do with these gorgeous girls? I'm going to add them into my journal. This process is called tipping in. So I'm just going to use some of my mismatch 
washi set, one of the sets there with all the girls on it. It's just some more faces. Uh, sometimes when you feel like you're using a, a printed washi, it feels quite bold, but it, it, it sort of settles in over time. Uh, washi tape is removable and repositional repositionable rather so it can be a really good choice and once you're really certain you can always add a more permanent type of tape uh, the other tape I'm using just here is a document repair tape and I just want to show you how you can create on the back of the paper as well that's why I've uh, added it as a tip in uh, so that I you know it's just like a little extra flap of paper and I can create something else so I've used some of my squid ink and one of the eye stamps from my tin of glances a little bit more washi tape why not add the extra as a little border this is sort of uh, very much how my journaling process goes you know again I have really no idea where I'm going to end up but I give myself little starts. <laughs> so I've started off with that uh, eye stamp in the middle of the page. The washi tape with the eyes caught my eye, literally. So then I pop that one on. And then to create the rest of the face, I'm using the LTQ uh, pen. I quite like the full chin on this girl. So I've let that uh, stay. And then I just felt like, you know, keeping on going. I'm meant to be filming something for you, but I'm having fun creating. So I've added some of the Velvet Pastel in, I think that was Neon Queen on the lips and then just zhuzhed it out with my finger on the cheeks. So the texture is going to be different than the front. Uh, so you're going to get more of a, a canvas uh, look. I've been able to add some of the Drama Pencil, it works beautifully on this, also works well on the washi tape. You have to give it a little bit of time to dry, but if it's a quite flat application, it shouldn't catch on any of the other pages. You can just leave it open to dry overnight if you wanted to. And I just want to add in this final girl somewhere. So I'm just flipping through pages, maybe finding a spot for her to live. Sometimes um, you can actually come up with new ideas in this auditioning process. So I use this quite uh, a lot when I'm creating. It helps me to look at my work differently and, uh, you know, feel like I've started out in one place and then it can uh, move and morph. So I sort of feel like she looks quite nice and balanced there. I don't want to spend too much time worrying about uh, what, what it is. Uh, it's repositionable, the type of tape that I'm using. It'll hang in there until I you know, want to pull it out. But I just put a bit of tape at the front, a little bit of tape at the back, and that tip in there is quite secure. How do I get this little tipped in page to talk to my existing journal pages. I'm going to take a little bit of that pink mermaid ink, uh, mermaid marker ink that's in the background in my art journal where it's tests for uh, colors and things when I'm working out this range and bringing it onto the page. Therefore also showing you that mermaid marker is very nice on this paper as well. <laughs> And she should have a little bit of starfish pink in the lips also. Hope you enjoyed this little mixed media adventure with me. If you'd like to share what you create, join my Facebook group. And if you'd like more tutorials or to see the whole collection, all of my collections, visit janedavenport.com. All of my things are available at fantastic art stores around the world. Mm -hmm.